Well, I'm not an expert. I'm not an authority. I'm someone who has been a murderer for almost 20 years. You like temper? I like it. You were able to appear like an ordinary person, non-threatening to... I lived as an ordinary person most of my life, even though I was living a parallel and increasingly sick life, other life. I was raging inside. There was just incredible energies, positive and negative. It was something that had been thought out in fantasy, acted out, felt out hundreds of times before it ever happened. I thought I was pretty slick and went and tripped all over myself that first two murders. The first 24 hours, there were three clear times I should have been busted. I wasn't. Because three different individuals and three different groups of people got scared. In 1972 and 1973, a series of murders shocked Northern California. College girls began to disappear while hitchhiking. Two of the victims were picked up from the campus of the University of California at Santa Cruz. That's where Ed Kemper's mother was working as an administrative assistant. You were involved in the campus because your mother worked there. I was also involved in killing co-eds because my mother was associated with college work, college co-eds. Uh, it was overwhelming me. It was like drugs. It was like alcohol. A little isn't enough. At first it is. And as you adjust to that psychologically and physically, you take more and more and more. It's the same process. So it finally came down to the thing of, do I dare bring this gun out? Already realizing if that gun comes out, something has to happen. It was going to happen. I didn't see it then, but it was going to happen. I was playing a dangerous game with a loaded gun that got us all. Some of the people who are committing murders, even as we speak, if they're doing it by themselves and they tell no one about it, they could go on undetected until they decided to stop. And the police wouldn't catch them unless we just happened to roll up on them while they were doing it. Can you say how many people might be doing crimes like you were doing? It would be a guess, but it's not it's far more than 35. It isn't that impossible in this society. It happens. Are there more people? They didn't give up. Uh, he, many? she didn't give up. I did. I came in out of the cold. So how come they get in with somebody at that time? She judged me not to be that guy. I didn't look like it. It was getting easier to do. I was getting better at it. I was getting less detectable. I started flaunting that invisibility, severing a human head, two of them, at night in front of my mother's residence, with her at home, my neighbors at home upstairs, their picture window open, the curtains open, 11 o'clock at night, the lights are on, all they have to do is walk by, and look out, and I've had it. Well, I'm not an expert. I'm not an authority. 